traveling under false pretenses and malicious destruction of cabbages. Off with their heads! One for each head of cabbage! Silence! Only the king can pass down judgment. What is your judgment, sire? He's training it though. 
I feel like the first thing was trying to show think outside the box. The second one was don't um, not all uh, don't t judge a book by its cover. And now he's supposed to use those skills. Oh, nice. Oh, so is everything in there the same? That makes more sense. Oh, they can open and close shit. to restore balance to the world by defeating Fire Lord Ozai. You have much to learn. You must master the four elements and confront the Fire Lord. And when you do, I hope you will think like a mad genius. Good train. That was great. And it looks like you're in good hands. You'll need your friends to help you defeat the Fire Nation. And you'll need Momo, too. Thank you for your wisdom. But before we leave, I have a challenge for you. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, cabbages! Poor guy. So it's a rough day. Cabbages and earth. All right, that was episode five of the Airbender, and uh, so far that was one of my favorite right there. That was to the point. The jokes was on point to me. I like that sarcastic joke, as Nickelodeon tends to do on most of these shows. They got that good, good slice of sarcasm up in there. But man, Boomer, good, good, good um, fighting uh, person on there. I wouldn't say a, a bad guy or whatever, because that's his friend. So, but he was training him, uh, you know, testing him. To see, hey man, you still got it, and I see that you still my boy, and I knew you was my boy, but I just wanted to mess with you for a little bit. And I love the fighting that they did on there. If they keep going like that, and I know it's a cartoon, so they can go harder and harder as much as they go on in this season and next season. So I like this episode for sure. Um, yeah, I totally agree. Um, I immediately, when they got to uh, one of the Earth palaces, I was like, I hope we see um, some Earth bending, which we saw immediately. Yeah. Um, but I thought it was so fantastic, the testing as far as trying to teach Aang. I thought it was great, and I, like, I loved um, the fact that you have to think outside the box, and not everything you see is necessarily what it is. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a great lesson. I thought it was great the way he taught, it, and I loved how everything ultimately came together. Um, and I loved it was like the flashback to his friend, which was very obvious to us for the most part. We were like, I hope we're right, but it feels yeah. like we're right. Yeah. Um, so I thought that was fantastic. I thought um, for a minute I was like, wait, this seems a little bit early to introduce the Earth aspect since this chapter, the first season, the chapter is about water, water bending. Yeah. Um, so I thought this was great just to kind of set up like these are lessons you're going to need to learn, um, but you're not going to learn the Earth stuff yet. Um, and I thought and everybody, well, his Boomer just told him he needs to master all these different things. So can he not master these things at different places or are they go into one place? 
that he can master them all. I don't know. I was the the question I was gonna pose to you guys um, that watch the show is 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 there a specific order they has to master them? Like, does he have to master water first? Is that why like he couldn't stay there and start working on Earth? Earth yeah. Or like, does it matter? Or or like you said, is there a specific location? Um, so I'm curious as to like what the order of like learning the 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 different skills are. Yeah, because they say they go into the North Pole, so I guess that's that's the final stop to uh, for him to learn all of his skills that he needs to learn and then fight the, the fire. Yeah, I mean, he definitely has to learn them all first before he uh, faces off. Well, he get all Neo on everybody and then right. just go ham. So, I mean, it, right now, it don't seem like, I can't remember his name, the fire guy that's there, the bad guy, the kid that's the fire guy. It don't seem like he's as, as ready for Avatar, as they want to hype but it But I don't think be. ultimately that's not who he's supposed to be. Because remember, he is um, a prince and he has yeah, been like, so it must shunned. Be, okay. So like, like there's, an, there's actually like a king king right. who's like, in charge of everything. But the, the prince, Zuko, I think his name is, he's trying to utilize this moment in order to win favor from his family again. Yeah. So he's brought back in. So if he can take out the Avatar before... Uh, by himself, uh, they come then you can like yeah. win favor with his family. And like you said, you want to take the whole Fire Nation out too, mm -hmm. so there won't be no more threats. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, right now I think Avatar, you know, well I guess he's not really fully skilled. Even when he turns into Avatar, he, he can't control it. He doesn't really know how to utilize all the abilities of Avatar. And that's so why that's Aang what as a person get. has to learn them all. Yeah, and if he get that game over. And I so. think that like fully unlocks then himself yep. as the Avatar. Level up. Yes. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk reaction for uh, Aviator, The Last Airbender, season <laughs> one. <laughs> 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 so, Aviator. Yeah. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> well, they fly. They, they fly, fly as well. <laughs> All right, thank you guys once again for watching another Real Talk reaction for The Airbender. That's what I'm going to call it. Season one, episode number seven. Until next four. time. Four. <laughs> Didn't we just say it was it went four? We passed four. Episode five. Uh, we just like you sure it was five? Yes. One five? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk reaction for The Airbender. Season one, episode number five. <laughs> Until next time, people. Peace. Okay, this will make your head bob.